Alright, so this is going to be a tutorial for a regular isolation, just the most basic isolation you can think of. I realize I um, do all kinds of isolation tutorials and have never even done just a normal one. So this is something that I think anyone could learn, someone who's not even touched a hoop before has any experience it can definitely learn. I've taught it to a ton of people. It's usually the first trick that I teach people because it looks really cool and it's not that difficult once you um, can get your brain around the idea that your hand and arm are moving in a circle and you want to try and keep the hoop in the same place. So um, first and foremost, um, you need to think about the fact that, like I just mentioned, your arm is moving in a circle like this around the hoop. The hoop isn't going around your hand in a circle. So this would be like hand hooping, but then this is an isolation. So the easiest way to kind of get comfortable and figure out um, how to do this is, and this also goes forwards and backwards, both hands you can do it, um, which will open up a lot of new transitions and tricks for yourself. So. So I'm going to start with my right hand down. My arm is extended and straight, and it's about, um, I guess, at my hips. And I want to look at the top of the hoop and line it up with something in my field of vision. So right now I'm looking at like a poster, and it's lined up with the top of the poster. So what I want to do, and you can even keep your hand here if you want to, is move my arm slowly in a circle and try to keep the hoop level. Once you get, you'll realize it starts to get awkward when your hand gets up here like this. So um, what you're going to do at this point is roll your hand over so that top of your hand touches the hoop and then you're grabbing underneath again. And at this point, you're at the top of the hoop. Your hand should be lined up with whatever um, you chose to line it up with. And now you can continue in your circle, just like this. And you can go as slow as you need to to figure this out initially. So now I'm back to where I started, 6 o'clock. I'm going up. And at, I guess, 2, I'm going to flip my hand over and grab. Now I'm at, like... 11, 12, whatever, and I'm going to keep going. Just like that. So as you get more comfortable, you'll realize kind of the point at which your hand um, gets to the top, and like it will just become second nature to just move your arm in that, that circle. Um, so anyway, and then backwards, same kind of thing, all the same principles apply, but we're just going to go the opposite direction. So I'm going to go up this way with my arm crossing my body. When I get to about 11, 10, 11, I'm going to roll my hand and grab over here at 1 and keep going. Some people find this easier and some people find this easier. It's whatever um, you know works for you. And then obviously same with the left hand. We have it started here and going forwards or I guess going backwards with your left hand, going across the body, rolling and grabbing, or this way. And don't get discouraged if it seems like your hoop is, you know, going all over the place as you're, as you're doing this or whatever. Um, it does take some time to really figure out how to get it smooth. So, anyway, hope, hopefully that helps you and, um, you found it to be pretty easy. <laughs>